Oh, biker. Oh, feral biker. Hello. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm not only 2-5 and this is Ruthless District. It's Horde every night, zombies always run, always a ton of fun, and I think Feral Sense is on in amongst that somewhere. We have a clear inventory. It's been a few days since I last played IRL, so let me see where we're up to with stuff. Oh, that's right, we did a bunch of tier 1 quests for Jen last time. And we've got a couple of treasure maps. It looks like we've got another opening trade route. I'm just looking to see if we've completed tier 3. Oh yeah, we've, we're on tier 4s. Okay, that's right. Cool. Alright, let's go and do another tier 4 quest then. Let's go and see Wrecked and get that on the way there. It looks like we've got some sand making and some clay a smelting. Alright, let's rock and roll. Oh, hang on. It's trader restock I've just noticed here. That kind of changes what I want to do, I think. I think our priority has to be visiting some traders today. got a few things to sell here and I do mean a few. We've got 10 grand and we should have some sugar butts over at Trader Rect as well and maybe even some more stuff to sell. So I think what we're going to do here is today we're going to come and see our Rect, Rect number 2, Trader Gen and then we're going to finish up, up here which I think is Rect number 3 and we'll see uh, what sort of time we have left after that. We might just have to do some more quests for old Jennifer. Right, let's check the selling box. Oh, we got nothing in there. And uh, nothing in here, really, either. We really don't have much to sell, do we? Never mind. Oh, he's got sugar butter. That's good. We need some red tea. Looking at that. We need eye candy as well. And we'll just buy these cans quickly. Ooh, there's a couple of motion sensors. We need them, don't we, for shotgun turrets. All right, bear that in mind. The pumpkin cheesecake recipe is pretty good. The gyro accessory schematic, that's pretty huge. Okay, well that's a lot of stuff that's worth it already. Pop those sugar bits. Sell, 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 sell. We'll buy the cheesecake recipe. We'll buy the two motion sensors and the gyro accessory schematic. Let's check his jobs. Warehouse 03. Oh, it's right in the wasteland again. So we'll do that at some point, maybe tomorrow. But for now, we need to head up towards wreck number two over here. Okay, eventually we've made it up to wreck number two. See if he's got anything worth having. Uh, we'll just buy the canned food, as usual. And the coffees. Well, we better read these. Ooh, he's got a blade trap. That's interesting. And the dart trap. We might buy them. Contact grenades could get us out of a tight spot. Yeah, I think we're buying those things as well. So, one dart trap. Oh, we'll buy two dart traps. We'll buy the blade trap. And we'll buy those contact grenades. Good deal. We can take this quest for him as well. We can just line up a few tier 4 clears. Next stop would be Jen, just up the road here. Actually, we'll bypass Jen and we'll go straight for Wrecked up the road because we'll finish at Jen's because we will do a couple of... I think we're on tier 3 quests for her. So we'll see if we can get a couple of them done because we won't have time to do tier 4s, I don't think, today. And would you look at that? It's another lovely little desert town just up the road here. We have another trader wrecked, aren't we lucky? It actually is quite lucky because we've been working on his quests, so it gives us a lot more choice for Trader Wrecked quests. We can just bank them every Trader Restock or something. Pretty cool. Okay, we have a Vulture. Old Red. Wow, we just got a trail of zombies chasing us down the road. It's amazing. I love Feral Sense. Ooh, a blue loot bag. Pretty decent. Wow, that was some good action. Oh, Tom Clark. That was fun. All right, new wrecked. Means a new chance to loot the stations. Okay. Yes, okay. Decent enough stuff there. Don't want the goldenrod flowers. I will take that stuff. Come on, be kind. Oh, yeah, decent. We'll sell that for sure. And he's got a forge and a cement mixer over here. We'll take that free stone. And we'll take the free lead as well. And should we loot his seeds? Uh, we only got one hop seed, pretty lame. And his shelves didn't have much either. We got a tin of chicken soup and a bit of rotten flesh. 
Uh, we'll buy the coffee, and that's about it. Give me that XP, man. But we've got another blade drop there. No, we can't afford it, but we can sell a couple of things. So we can sell that, that, this, this. Sell that off. Okay, good. Plenty cornmeal. I'm going to buy that because we can make something with that. I can't remember what, but I'm sure we can make something good. The armor plate and mods are pretty much a must. Uh, the sham chowder is a good deal. We're going to 600. 10 potatoes? Yep. Yeah. Price is right. Nothing else I urgently want there. So let's have a quick look at his jobs. Oh, that's night only. We can't do night jobs being a horde every night. Now, he's got jobs to the north, but we can't really go doing them, can we? Because uh, we don't want to go too north. Well, trader wrecked number three was a bit of a bust. Come on, man. Get a grip. You again. Okay, just time then to head back down to old Jenny girl down here. Let's throw some stuff away in here. We can throw this plating mod into there. That's nice. Cool, let's go see Jen. We should have time to do one quest, hopefully. And just like that, we're back over at Jen. Gotta get that eye candy. Okay, so she's got a bit of cobble. She's got motion sensors as well. A little bit of food. Uh, oh, the eggs and corn, I need them. They're a no-brainer. Oh, the mag extender, that's a good mod. We can't afford it, though, so we need to do some work. Oh, we're on tier twos for Jen, okay. Even better. We, always need someone to handle oh, thank goodness. we should be able to get some progress done here. Tom Clark. <laughs> and we have got an airdrop as well, it's just out here. We should probably look to do that. We've still got a zombie swarming. Right, let's get into this. Okay, they've given me a spider straight out of the gates here. Oh! Don't you dare hit me. I'm finding the spiders a little bit easier to hit this go round. That's nice. Nice of you to drop in there, son. Hey, okay, nice little bit of duct tape there. I don't mind it one bit. Alright, here we go. Come on. Down you come, Zombarinos, if you please. Oh, she just flew into that. This girl's everywhere. Why are you everywhere today? <laughs> oh, chili. That's the thing we can make. We can make chili dogs, I remember now. Alright, let's get up here. Get a stun bonus onto him with the old AK. Bounce him about like a bouncy ball. And their supplies were down there, I've got to remember that. It's going to be a Bernie dude up here, I think. Here he is. So squishy. And down here. Oh, biker. Oh, feral biker, hello. Right, we want to make sure we got stamina for him. Come on, back up you come, mate. Back up you come. Oh, we didn't want to take a hit there. Okay, decent. Oh, there's a few of them down here, you know. Oh. Cool. Grab all that stuff. And we had a loot drop over here as well. Not bad. Try and remember to grab this cobble when we see it. Awesome. Uh, yes, yeah, some sellables right there that'll help. We always get that headlight mod thing. Another treasure map. Love that. Read it. Read them and weep, boys. And I do like this now. An easy way to get out. Ooh. Now we just need to go back and get our supplies quickly. I bet you thought I'd forgotten. I nearly did. <laughs> oh, they're just here. Return to trader. Good stuff. Uh, bandages we don't need. We'll take this pistol and sell it. We'll just sell these items here as well. Up to 2,600. We'll pick up the cobble. The cement. Yeah, sure, we'll buy it. And we wanted this mag extender as well. That's good. And we'll pick up another motion sensor. I hope you come back and see me sometime. It's one per. That's good. A mag extender will go on the desert vulture quite nicely, won't it? Let's try and do one more job quickly here. She hasn't got much about, to be honest. Well, do hurry. I have a protection so this is just down here. We could do that. 
Anything in here? Nope. All right. Let's hit it. Uh, I'm not wrenching workbenches right now. I have not got the inventory space to uh, spare. I'll grab all the cement and cobble though. Should be able to get through this place pretty quickly. Potentially got a wandering horde upstairs. I think they're right here, whoever they are. We could just do this to save some time. Hello. Oh, that didn't work. Come on. How tough is this zombie? And you, Edgar. Oh. Just glitched into the table. What a shame. Mega Crush. I'm a fan. Oh. Well, he was right there. Okay, apparently I didn't get my supplies. Part of the course. Let's drop down here quickly. Oh, they're right here at the beginning. Cool. Okay, what joys will appear have for me? Here we go. Good deal. Come on now. Yes! Get that triple pocket mod on there. That's a thing of beauty. Some decent sellables there. Okay then. Right, we're getting late into the day here now. We're going to be cutting it fine for a few of these. Uh, I would like to turn this into Jen and go and get that airdrop and not spin around in a circle, ideally. Uh, I guess we'll sell that leather hood. Let's quickly sell off a few bits. Yeah, that's about it. One you. No time to mess about. Okay, so we want to go for this airdrop and then just beeline it back to our home base, which is all the way down here. Um, we're going to be cutting it very close, but you know you can't leave an airdrop out in the wild like this. You simply can't. Okay, we have a trail of vultures and zombies. I didn't want to stop for anything. I think I've got time before she gets over. What's that? Melee bod spindle. Melee mod spindle even. Melee bod spindle. Let's have a look at that. Wood splitter, serrated blade, and weighted head. Decent enough stuff there, okay. Now we need to beeline it back to our bedroll. Hopefully we can more or less go straight here. So I've been driving back for the whole time like this. I can't see a foot in front of me. And I'm right by the wasteland. And time's ticking on. Getting pretty desperate. I think we should be okay now. Hopefully. It's now 9pm. I'm very nearly back. I can see my base. That fog just refused to let up. It was crazy. Normally the weather changes really, really fast in this game. Probably just have enough time to sort things out here, hopefully. Uh, honestly, what I might do is I might just make a drop chest here. Just because time really is ticking away here. As long as I know it's out of my inventory and into here. Ooh, we'll keep that on us. Cool. Uh, we shall grab some extra of this. Get rid of him. And let's make sure we've got everything we need here. Food and drinks looking okay. I'm gonna trust that the base doesn't need repairs. We should probably check quickly. Yeah, some key blocks look okay. Okay, in here we have our lever action. Forged iron we need. Contact grenades will take along. Molotovs. Desert vulture. Electrical parts. Magnum ammo, a bit of extra 762. I think that might be all we need. Oh, claw hammer. Get the mag extender onto there. Very good. That's okay. This is okay. Let's turn it on and take on the 13 Ford. Good thing I'm not superstitious. Okay, we'll make sure the guns are repaired and we'll get ready to get into it. 
That's a good opportunity for one of these right off the bat over there. <laughs> Game stage of 60 is what we're working with here. And time for one of them, maybe. Sensational. Yeah, they're coming in a lot quicker. A lot, lot quicker. We need to start making darts, I think, for that dart trap we bought and work out a way to get the blade traps involved. Uh, we could also do with making an auto turret or two just to help with overwhelming moments. This base is going to need a lot more doing to it, that's for sure. Try working with the lever action a bit here. Yeah, that's good stuff. Do we have a learning elixir in here? No. Time for one of these, I think. Nice. Yeah, this is still working well. We just need to make a couple of slight adjustments and make sure we're staying on top of our contact grenades. I think it's going to be key to this working. There's a dog about to jump up here and waiting to pounce. Ah, it's fallen off the edge. Oh, I can't wait to make a better quality desert vulture because this thing is already slaying. There's not many things I want to put points into in Fortitude. Probably just pain tolerance, maybe... Maybe the wrenching skill, I can't think what it's called right now. And the living off the land as well. I need to know, what's it called? Oh wait, that's perception. Salvage operations, that's it. Okay, yeah, so just pain tolerance and living off the land probably. I still think this lever action is my favourite for this base. As good as the Desert Vulture is. You just can't beat the feeling of that lever action, it just feels phenomenal. You see, if you stay on top of it, they don't even really get off this first step here. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> There's a dog there. Uh-oh, I can see a cop. I can't remember if we've had a cop before, but... The other zombies are doing a great job of blocking for him. Right, we can't let him blow up, we can't let him blow up. Good. Now we've got a bit of a problem. And there's another cop. Probably going to need to go full automatic for him. And I can see another one. Oh, things are getting interesting. We just need to act as soon as we see those guys. Oh, speaking of. I hope I got him. And there's another one right there. Oh, I think we got him just before he blew. Yeah, things are already getting more challenging, that's for sure. Yeah, okay, we got another copy boy. What's making it harder is the dogs are coming at the same time. It's really quite brutal. I think we got him. All right, time for another one of these bad boys. Good. Wow, this is getting real, isn't it? And I think it's finished. No, nope, hang on. Now I think it's finished. Right, let's get two more into pain tolerance then. 
We can get one more into that, and I think then we're going to go living off the land. That's probably it, really, that I want out of there. Maybe we'd take a bit of machine gunner down the line. But we turned that fence off. Let's go and have a little bit of a loot. Uh, we've got eye candy on us. That's good. Let's check this stuff away in here. Okay, good deal. All right, so now, this evening, we are playing with a 131 game stage. Let's pop an eye candy and see what that does then. 150 game stage. Loot stage, I should say. Okay, let's see what sort of stuff we get. A lot of good brass and ammo, the usual stuff. Ooh, a nail gun. That's beautiful. See you later, claw hammer. <laughs> okay, that's good. Iron boots. Slight improvement over what we've got, actually. So we'll probably take them. And I think that's it. Just make sure things aren't too beat up around here. Oh, we've got another loot drop here, actually. Ooh, that fence post is getting battered by my contact grenades. Ooh, a ratchet! Quality 6! Yes! Alright, I need to get my electrical parts. I'm gonna make sure they're not destroying too much of this down here. No, we're fine for the most part. Let's grab these things quickly, because we don't want those fence posts breaking. That's for darn sure. This one over here is not taking any damage though, so that's nice. Okay, nail gun goes in here then. Along with excess ammo. We can sell this claw hammer. Okay, let's make up some cornbread here. And then we'll use that to make chili dogs down the line there. We've got nine cans of chili just waiting to go. Yeah, so these are slightly better. We'll slip into them. These ones can go to be sold. As can this old wrench, because we've got a lovely quality six ratchet now. Can't believe it. I'm thinking we might start making some iron darts here. Yeah, 432, that works for me. Yeah, we'll just leave that burning like that for now, that's fine. Okay, we can make three pocket mods, let's do it. About time we had these. Much better. One thing's for sure, we need a lot of steel. For 18. Uh, if we want to make an auto turret, for example, we need 46. Uh, we desperately need something like that as well. And we need to figure out a cool way to put these blade drops, or this blade drop, into something. I just need to quickly sort all this, actually, so let's do that. All right, we're sorted out. Time to wrap up the episode. A bit late, but I had to finish sorting out all this nonsense here. So I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, please do let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you'd like to see more content from the channel, why not subscribe today? Thank you so much, have a good one, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.